how to buy Veritasium with Bitcoin. So actually, this is how to buy any ERC20 token uh, with Bitcoin. And if you're not sh not sure what an ERC20 token is, it's any token or any coin that is native to the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, so a lot of this will make sense as we go through, so just bear with us. But we are starting from the very start. So if you're not sure what any of this is, uh, bear with me, you're going to be fine. We're going to walk you all the way through to actually ha from having Bitcoin all the way through to actually having Veritasium at the end. So we you're going to need a Chrome browser. We're going to use MetaMask, uh, which is basically uh, kind of like Jax, but for Ethereum. And we're going to be using Ether Delta. If you're not familiar with Ether Delta, that is one of the first decentralized exchanges. So it's literally a peer to peer exchange where you can trade Ethereum tokens. It's fantastic. We're going to be using Changely to actually convert our Bitcoin into Ethereum. So basically, we're going to be going from Bitcoin to Ethereum and then from Ethereum to whatever token that we want to be getting uh, on the uh, Ether Delta exchange. Uh, and then we're just going to make sure that that coin is actually in our account. Alrighty, so let's get started. First of all, you're going to need a Chrome browser. If you're not familiar with that, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll leave the link for everything that you need in the description below. Uh, so here we are, basically click download Chrome and then open up uh, the browser. Basically, you're going to be having a bit of a, an icon there. I'm pretty sure most of us know exactly what Chrome is. So I'll move on. Then you want to want to go to metamask.io. This is basically a, um, it's an Ethereum wallet and it allows you, it kind of integrates with the websites that you're actually on. So that'll make sense as we get a little bit closer. Uh, and then what we're going to be going is going on to Ether Delta. So Ether Delta, you can see it actually automatically picks up uh, my MetaMask account. So you can actually, uh, it kind of integrates my wallet straight away uh, on Ether Delta. So again, this will make sense as we move along. But then what we really need after you've actually got your MetaMask account, so if, if you haven't got that yet, click that for the Chrome plugin, and then you'll end up with one of these little icons up in your top right-hand corner of your screen. Um, and just to have a quick look at that, we just need to jump off there. Here we go. Okay, so this is MetaMask. Uh, when you actually go to metamask.io and download it, and then you open it up, this will basically be blank. You'll actually start off with an account with obviously no transactions in it. And what you want to do immediately is to write down your seed. So when you open it up, it'll ask you for a password. Make sure you write that down. Remember your password. That's great. But then also what will happen is it'll be creating some accounts for you. And if you go, make sure that you go to settings. And then down here, you'll see reveal seed words. I'm not going to press that because that's my seed. It's kind of like your private key. Uh, with Bitcoin and that will be able to regenerate your wallet on any other device if you you know if your computer gets broken or anything like that Okay, so make sure you have your seed words and that you've written them down and that they are in a safe place and Once you have got your MetaMask account What you want to be doing is we can jump out of that. We're actually going to go to Changely.com. I'll leave the link in the description below make sure you click that one there and what we're going to be doing is changing uh, Bitcoin into Ethereum. So bear with us for one sec. What I'm going to do is change, I think I've got 0.28. Just make sure the uh, amount of Bitcoin I've got in there that we're going to be changing. Okay, so I've got 0.28925. What we'll do, I'll change 0.28 Bitcoins. 0.28 Bitcoins, and that'll automatically do a calculation and let me know how much Ether I'm going to get. The, the exchange rate is actually pretty good. I think it's actually a little bit better than Shapeshift at the moment. And then all we do is click exchange. Now, when you do sign up, it might ask. It will ask you for your email address. That's just so you can chase up uh, transactions if you have any issues with that. But um, so what we're looking at here, okay, so 0.28 Bitcoins. I'm going to get this much Ether. It's going to take between five and 30 minutes, obviously, because the Bitcoin has to, uh, these guys require two confirmations on the Bitcoin blockchain before they actually do the changeover for you. But I'm pretty happy with that. What they do, they do charge a fee, but the only fee is half a percent. So 0.5% is actually great. Uh, it is a pretty good, uh, pretty good service. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to click next and it's going to ask me for an Ethereum address. So what I'm going to do is go into my MetaMask account. I'm going to click copy, which is the address 
for this account right here. At the moment, you can see there's about 28 bucks in there. So chuck that copy and paste right into there. Then I'm gonna click Next. It's gonna ask me for a confirmation. So check all the details before processing. I'm sending 0.28 Bitcoins. I wanna get that much Ethereum. That's the recipient address. I'm pretty comfortable that that's exactly what it is. And it tells me again and how long it's gonna make. Great, confirm and make payment. Yes, let's do that. Great, okay, so what's going on now? It's uh, created a transaction ID. So uh, I'll just take a screenshot of that so that uh, if anything goes wrong, I can chase that up. Send 0.28 Bitcoin to the address below. So you've got your QR code and then your um, the Bitcoin address that we're sending it to. So I will copy that address that's copied and I'll go into my JAX account. Okay, so I'm gonna send, I'm gonna be sending Bitcoin. I'll click send. The address that I have here is that 178JT, just make sure 178JT, yep, and ending in BEL2, ending in BEL2, yes, 0.28, so literally just write 0 0.28 Bitcoins. Uh, just confirming that, so that'll be about 961 Aussie dollars, 0 0.28, 0 0.28, am I happy with that? Yes, I am. Click send. It'll ask me to confirm. I just need to move my face over here. I know, well, just where my face is, it is. it does actually have the confirm. So cancel or confirm. I'm gonna confirm. I've gotta put in my pin. So look away, I'll change this anyway, but uh, let's have a look. Done, and I've sent it, and it's actually just got that little green arrow there saying that yes, it's been uh, it's been sent. If you want to check, it'll take a while because it won't actually take you to the next screen uh, until it actually picks up that there has been a transaction. So I'll pause this video and wait until we go to the next transaction. But when you're ready, you want to copy that address just again, obviously, and go to the Bitcoin blockchain. Uh, I just use blockchain.info just to track. Uh, you can use any blockchain explorer that you like. Paste the address in there. We're searching. And okay, it's already there. So 0.28, it's unconfirmed. Uh, I'll wait for that to have two confirmations on the Bitcoin blockchain network. And uh, we'll be here, so I'll just pause that. See how we go. Once you've actually made the payment, it might take a couple of minutes, but this screen will come up. You can see if we actually have a check over at uh, blockchain.info that I've got one confirmation here. Uh, and so it actually says one out of two. So they're just waiting for the payment to actually confirm. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so you can see that we've just got the two out of two. So we've got uh, two confirmations that have come through. Just double check that. Bear with me for a second. Uh, where are we there? Okay, we've got one confirmation. If I refresh, two confirmations, fantastic. So they're just uh, double confirming that, and then this will come up in a second. There we go, they're exchanging. Okay, so about five minutes later, they've actually done the exchanging, and now they're actually just sending to my wallet, which is the Ethereum address that I've got in the MetaMask uh, account. So we'll wait for that to happen again. Okay, and then this pops up. So transaction is complete, uh, and it goes through all the information about it, and if I want to actually track the actual uh, track the transfer, all the details are there. What I'll do, I'll take a quick copy of that one. And what I'll do now, if we go over to the Ether Delta, what I'm going to do is open up my MetaMask, and it actually hasn't arrived in there yet. So what I'm going to do is go back here, get the exchange output transaction. What I'm going to do is click this, and this will actually take me to Etherscan. It's kind of like uh, a blockchain explorer for Ethereum. And we can see that something happened 52 seconds ago. There were three block confirmations in there. It's from Changely. Let's have a look there. All right, well, it says there are three confirmations there. Let's check my wallet again. 
boom, now we've got it. So 751 US dollars are in my MetaMask account. Fantastic. So what we're going to be doing now is going over to Ether Delta. So the address is a GitHub address. So it's etherdelta.github.io. I will leave again all the links to everything you need in the description below. So make sure you click those ones um, just to make sure you don't get taken to any other poor sites. Now, this is Ether Delta. It's a great little site. It is in beta, so if things are, it can feel a little bit clumpy at times. But basically, what we're looking at here is the Veritasium versus Ether order book. And you can see that these are all the people who are looking to sell. And it goes up, up, and up, and up. And as the price goes down, then you meet people who are looking to buy. And obviously, the people who are looking to buy, looking to buy a bit lower, people looking to sell a bit higher. So, this is the order book where you can see who's actually buying and selling. Uh, if I have a look at my Ether address, you can see Ether over here. We've got 2.676 uh, Ether in there, which is fantastic. If you don't have the very up there, what you want to do is click this one up here and actually check for the code that you're actually after for the coin. Uh, we're just looking at Veritasium here. Great. So I'm going to click that. It'll refresh again. That's fine. It can take a minute. Now, what I'm going to need to do is take my Ether from the wallet address. See, so it says wallet there. And then I want to put it into the Ether Delta account which is over here. So at the moment, I've got 0.007. Now, how I do this is I just put the amount in there. So 2.67, I'm just going to use that amount. You do need a little bit left in there uh, for, for gas to actually do the actual transfer. So I'll click, oh, that just refreshed there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deposit 2.67 and I'm going to click deposit. And then my MetaMask will actually come up and ask me to confirm the transaction. So confirm transaction from here to there. Uh, this is actually how much I'm willing to pay for gas. I'll just do whatever they're recommending. That's fine. And I'll click submit. You have just created an Ethereum transaction. So there's the actual uh, transaction ID if I want to have a look at it. That's fine. I'll just click OK. That'll take a minute or so to actually go through, probably a little bit less. It's normally pretty quick. Uh, so bear with me for a second. Okay, so it took about a minute, but basically we've got the money or the Ethereum that was actually in this account here is actually moved over to the Ether Delta account. Great. Now I'm in a position where I can actually buy the coins that I want. So what I'm going to do, uh, looks like we've got a guy who's buying. Now there are two ways to buy. You can either just click on one of the people that are buying. So click on that and then you'll get a bit of a pop down. Uh, and let's say... I'm looking to buy uh, how much worth of ether have I got? I've got say 2.6 worth of ether. That'll say that I'm getting 3.7. Uh, very, that's one way to do it. Or if I actually close that, what I can do is actually put my order right in here. So I want to buy, for example, 3.6 at say 0 0.7 ether, and then it'll automatically calculate. Now the expires is how many blocks that it'll take uh, to that you're actually going to put it out into the market because what you're doing here if you put this order you might only want to pay 0.6 uh, ethereum so then if okay so let's say i just want to i'll click this one here for uh, 0.7 uh, ethereum per veritasium so what we'll do is i'll be buying i won't be buying nine I'll be buying 2.67, 2.67 Ethereum worth, and that'll give me 3.8 Veritasium, 3.814. Okay, and there's a little bit of an Ether fee there as well, no problem. I'm going to click buy, and what will happen? Is my MetaMask account will pop up. I'm going to submit this. Let's just make sure I want to do it. Yes. This is literally just setting up the smart contract. So I'm going to click submit. You just created another Ethereum transaction. You can track its progress here if I want to. And let's just make, let's just have a look at that. Okay, so what's actually happening? Unable to locate the transaction. Okay, it must be very, very new. Okay, so you can see here that the transaction has actually gone through. It's still pending. So there must be just a little bit of... Um, uh, congestion on the Ethereum network at the moment.
So I'll just keep refreshing to make see how that's going. It's still pending. Uh, I'll pause the video and come back in a sec. Okay, so now we can see the transaction has been successfully included and there's the block number that it was in. So if we actually go back uh, over to Ether Delta and refresh. Okay, we can see that I've actually got no more Ethereum in my transfer wallet and I've actually got 3.812 uh, Veritasium, which is great. So now in order for me to see that this is actually in my uh, in my wallet off Delta Ether, I need to withdraw it to my MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to click withdraw and I'm going to put uh, 3.8 one we'll just leave a little bit in there if we need any fees so 3.81 i'm going to click withdraw and then i should have another pop-up any second okay so again i've got this little pop-up from metamask asking me to confirm the transaction i will submit what i'll do i'll actually increase this i think it took a little bit longer because uh the my payment to get things through was a bit slow so i changed that up to maybe let's say 16 and I will click submit. And there we go, you've just created another Ethereum transaction, track its progress. We can do that. <clears throat> and now if I refresh, okay, so now we can see that the very Tassium, very Tassium that was actually in the Ether Delta wallet is now over into my normal wallet. So let's actually check Ether Scan just to make sure that it's actually all there. So again, I'll leave the link for this below. But basically, where we are here are the transactions, and that was zero Ether, but that's actually for the actual um, for the trade within the coins. So what we want to look at these are all the transactions that I've got with this account. What we want to look at is go over from transactions over to token transfers, and there we can see that yes, I got a little bit before, but just 20 seconds ago, I got the 3.81 Veritasium in there. So my altcoins are actually sitting in my uh, MetaMask wallet, which is great. I know they're there. If I want to bring them back, uh, all I need to do is go back onto uh, Ether Delta and then actually put them from that wallet onto the uh, Ether Delta exchange, then sell them back into Ether and then sell them on an exchange or to Bitcoin or whatever I want. So I know it took you know a little while to get through. It's a little bit choppy. The website is a little bit slow. It's only getting better all, uh, all the time. But um, Changely is a great service. Again, I'll leave every link that you need below. So make sure you use those ones. If you do have any questions, if I've missed anything, ask. Um, if you watch this video and you and you know the answers to a question that someone's left, this is a community, feel free to help out. Um, if not, I'll definitely make sure to uh, answer all the questions that are there. But uh, there you go, guys. So uh, it is a little bit, you know, how hard it is to go from here to there to there to there just shows you how far we've got to go before this stuff is all uh, going to be mainstream and how, you know, if we've got a good product or any of these coins are actually good, how much further they actually have to go in price. So it's a pretty exciting time. Uh, to be in the crypto world. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.